Hi folks, Baz Agar is strong man. It's overhead day today. And as I was expecting rain, I plan to do an indoor sort of seat edge shoulder session. It's a bit of a tongue twister. But it's turned out nice and sunny, so I'm gonna have to get the big log out. It's been a couple of weeks since I've got it out, so, and the big log. Um, so I'll see where I'm at in terms of strength. Um, still got that PB call into me, the one rep max, which would be 110. But I'm going to play it by ear, try and be sensible, get a bit of volume in, and just see where I'm at, if I want to have a bash at it or not. I might... Um, I got my tablet here, so I might try and video it from two different angles, try and give folks a bit of a tip on um, on technique. Please enjoy. Okay, I'm filming this um, for my mate Sam, really, who's just got his first log, but um, maybe some others can take something from it. So I'm just going to go through a bit of the technique on the log, and I'm filming it from two angles, so hopefully I can do some fancy editing with it later. Okay, so lifting up the log is about trying to keep it as close to the body as possible and, you know, just a straight path. Any sort of deviation forward or back is going to throw you off. Okay, so start with, you turn this out a little bit. You're going to pick it up, sit back down with it as close to your body as possible. And with that slight turn, that's going to give you a better roll up the body. Let's walk this carting past. Um, and that's to avoid trying to curl it there, which you can probably see better on the other angle. One, you don't want to be using your biceps just to curl it, that's going to be the weak point. And two, if it's away from your body, it's going to pull you forward. And then consequently, as, as it comes back, it's going to shift you back that way. So, turn the handles away from you, pick it up and put it on your lap as far back as possible with that angle still in your arms. Then as you stand up, you roll it up your body. And then a little jerk with the legs and pushing it straight up. Straight back there. So hopefully from the sides we can see we're trying to keep that log moving straight up and try not to do that or that with it. So hopefully I can do something quite good with the with the two videos, screenshots maybe. And show it from the two angles but that's the crux of it i'm no expert by any means i'm still learning but i've picked up these tips along the way hope that helps okay um not feeling too energetic today i had a really hot sweaty night last night as i'm sure most of you did so I'm not going to do too much volume. I'm just going to think a bit about technique, increase the weights a little bit, see how we go, but to keep the reps down. I'm going to do a bit more volume then on Arnold's and Aaron's and things like that. Hit the delts without, you know, doing full body. This is pretty exhausting. So we're up to 90 kilos now. Feeling pretty comfortable. Okay, 100 kilos. Okay, based on the hundred, this shouldn't really go, but I'm going to give it a blast. I'm going to have to rip it, keep it moving faster, um, which I didn't do on the hundred. It was, it was quite slow, stopped here and go. I've got to keep it moving and drive it. 110, this would be a PB. Oh, no. I was there. 
surprised me how easily I cleaned it. Took me by surprise and then I stopped. Damn it, it was there. I might have to try that again. I need to work on that, on that roll really, that clean. It's getting it in that perfect position, so it rolls nicely up you. If you're off a bit, it doesn't come up nice. And then you feel like you're in the wrong position at the top. I'd call it a day there. I've learned some stuff at least. I'm going to do a bit of work on the cleans now, and perhaps stupidly I'll put a little bit more weight on. I'm up to 115 now, no intention of trying to press it. I'm just thinking if I can work a little bit heavier, it's going to make it easier for me when I'm trying to press it. And then I'm going to, well I'm going to try one here, and then I'm going to basically pyramid back down, get some, a little bit of volume in, with a lighter weight, just working on that clean, that sort of hand position to allow me to roll it up my chest better. Let's see how this goes. That's heavy. Not quite getting it to the top there, but certainly getting a little bit of work in. Right, I'm down 205 kilos now, and I'm going to do some of that like I did on the last one, just from lap to chest. Resting my lower back, so I'm not doing that pick up off the floor, because i got some big deadlifts coming tomorrow. So... Yeah, but that middle back, and I think it's going to carry over onto the, the Atlas Stone as well, that, that position. So, because I was going to get them out today, but I think this is going to tick both boxes. that middle back it's also working my forearms and right yeah this one whatever that is coming around there okay last set on these now I'm down to 90 kilos Oh, 
looks quite tiring. Hi folks, that's just about it for the day. I'm uh, I'm going to do some TRX. See behind me, just my three-part finisher to finish off the um, medial and rear delt. I'm going to call it a day. It hasn't been the session that I had planned, um, but I don't like to miss an opportunity to get the log out. I'm sure we're uh, going to be expecting the rains anytime soon, so. Glad I got it out there, and it's proved a really worthwhile session. Worth working that um, sort of middle part of the lift, that clean from the the lap to the chest. I've got some good work in there, and I'm confident if I can tidy that up, I can break my PBs soon. Um, the kids are getting restless, so I better get in the house and get their schooling started. If you've enjoyed my video today, please drop me a thumbs up, and please subscribe for future strongman content. I'm Baz Gary Strongman. See you soon.